In this lesson, we'll learn how to control the amount of spacing between lines of type. All right, so we just learned how to control the spacing between individual pairs of letter forms as well as groups of letter forms. Now let's talk about the spacing between lines of type. So for this lesson, I've gone ahead and loaded up the project file 08 underscore begin. And this one's a little bit different. We've got quite a bit of information here in this document. There's several pages. Uh, let's come go ahead and navigate down here. I believe the document page is 14. Uh, don't pay any attention to this number right down here in the corner. We're going to come up to the pages panel and navigate to page 14 right here. So uh, we're going to zoom in on this type right here and just take a look at this. Now, uh, you can see here we have an average amount of space between each line of type here. Now, the term that refers to the amount of space between lines of type is known as letting. Now, let me just come in here and double click on this text frame and I'm going to drop my text insertion cursor in there. And we're going to jump over here to our character panel. Now, just to the right of our point setting for the size of our type, we have another setting right here for letting. The icon looks like a little A above another little A with a double-headed arrow pointing between them here. So uh, you can see here that my letting for this particular paragraph is set to 13.5 points. So as you begin working with larger bodies of copy, sort of like the one we're looking at right here, you need to become more and more aware of the importance of letting and how that assists readability. Now, looking here, we are working in InDesign, and you can see here we can change the letting settings by simply dropping this little arrow down here, and we can choose any number of preset settings, similar to many of the other controls here. We also have an automatic setting right here, which will let InDesign look at the point size for our type and determine what it feels like is the best setting for the letting. Now, I don't always like to let InDesign choose what my letting size is. I like to go in and pick that by hand. But in order to do that, you need to be aware of a few things. Let me go ahead and bump this letting size down some just by clicking on the down arrow here. I want to go ahead and select that entire paragraph, though. I'm going to bump that down somewhere around 10 points so that it's equal to the amount of uh, the point size for the size of our type. And we'll zoom in on that here. Now, let's see which one of these paragraphs do you honestly feel is more readable? Do you feel like this one's more comfortable to read? Or do you feel like a paragraph like this is more comfortable to read? I can tell you that in my experience and my thoughts are that this first one is definitely easier for my eye to read. And it has to do a lot with the flow of the paragraph. As our eye reads through a paragraph, naturally we get to the end of a line and our eye wants to come to the beginning of the next line. Well, with a paragraph that's sandwiched together like this one is, our eye gets to the end of one line here and it comes over here and well, where did we leave off? We can't really judge where we were initially reading, what line we just read. So it's a lot easier for the eye to flow through a paragraph when there's a, a good deal of letting, an appropriate amount of letting. Now let me go ahead and show you sort of the exact opposite of that. Um, right there we have too little letting. And another key indicator when you have too little letting is that the descenders on one line of type will start to run into the ascenders of the next line. I'm just looking for an instance where we have two that are really close together. You can see right there where that lowercase y is almost touching that that L or that lowercase L in, in, uh, in the word below it. So uh, that is one key indicator that you're, you don't have enough letting between the lines of type. So let's go ahead and select this paragraph again. Let's go ahead and increase the letting here. Now let me show you another way to do that. I'm going to go ahead and just click my text insertion cursor into that letting field here. And you can use your up and your down arrows to increase the selected paragraphs letting one point at a time. You can see here I'm hitting my up arrow and we're bumping the amount of letting up in that paragraph one point at a time. We can also, let me just bump that back down to 10, we can also hold the shift key and do it. So the shift key is going to add 10 points of letting at a time. So uh, be real careful there. I'm going to go and bump that back down. Another way to do this is to just select the paragraph and maybe you don't even want the character panel open. Maybe you want to adjust the letting with just the paragraph selected, no panels open. I'm going to hold down the Alt key on my keyboard and I'm going to use the up and down arrows. Check out what happens to the letting, uh, the letting value there. We're increasing and decreasing by two points at a time. So we can do this on the fly without ever accessing our character panel. 
All right, I tell you what, let me go ahead and just resize this text frame just a little bit here so we can have a little bit more room for our type. I'm going to go ahead and really space out the letting on this paragraph. Let's go ahead and bump that up significantly here. How about right about there, about 22 points. That's 12 points higher than the size of the type. Now, in doing that and zooming out here, you know, it may read okay, but in reality, comparing this paragraph to this paragraph, this paragraph is going to be much, much more effective in communicating uh, continuous information like that. Reason being is, with this much letting between your lines of type, you're starting to let that letting take on a really dominant form of its own. Really, the negative space in between the lines is becoming more dominant than the type itself, and thus really distracting our eye. So you may be asking yourself, well, I wonder if there's any rules of thumb for this. Is there any good way to, uh, to actually decide on how much letting should be with my type? Well, there's a couple rules that I go by. Let me go ahead and just tell you. Uh, the X height is one determining factor for the amount of letting that I put in bodies of copy like this. A taller X height on a typeface is going to require more letting. The reason being is because uh, it's going to make that negative space feel even thinner because of that increased X height. So for me personally, I like to stay about three to three and a half points more than the size of my type for small body copy, like this one for example. Now obviously there are situations and projects where uh, an increased lighting may be more beneficial for you, uh, depending on whatever concept you're working with for the particular project. Now obviously if you're working on a project this size, there's probably more efficient ways to control the letting in between your paragraphs than to come in here and manually set it. And in InDesign, it's going to be done through, typically through something known as a paragraph style. Now we have plenty of courses in our library that can teach you all about paragraph styles, but that's way too, more, too much to cover in this one lesson. So I tell you what, in this lesson we've learned about letting. In the next lesson we're going to pick up where we're leaving off here and we're going to learn about how type is measured.